So I'm going to be covering the Turkish election tomorrow. From my understanding, uh, the results are going to start to be available around midnight Turkish time, which translates into about 4 p.m. my time. So we're going to start it at 3.30 uh, Central Time and just see if there's any interesting news, maybe talk a bit about the background of it. Uh, I'll be taking callers if there's somebody who's very knowledgeable about this. I've been following it a little bit, but I'm far from an expert on Turkey. So if anyone wants to come on, uh, you can just message me in the comments section or on Discord. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to actually count the votes, but this isn't the United States, so we'll probably know who won by the um, end of the night. Uh, for whatever reason... Uh, because the electoral system is the most robust in the earth, it can take weeks to know uh, who actually wins in the U.S. election, whereas other countries with inferior systems don't seem to have that problem. But then, on that note, I just want to say that here at my channel, we are complete and total rejectors of conspiracy theories, disinformation, Russian bots, that kind of thing. And I've already started to see people question the integrity of the Turkish elections. Uh, they've said that there's going to be fraud, that there's going to be um, vote rigging, that there's going to be... Inter uh, I saw someone raise some crazy idea that like there's going to be power outages in select locations that aren't going to vote for Erdogan. And I just want to say off the bat that this is all wrong. I know for a fact, 100%, that the Turkish election was conducted, uh, I know this ahead of time, with 0% problems. I, I think I'm 90% sure uh, YouTube announced like two weeks before it happened that, th that it was against the TOS to allege that any fraud had happened in the Brazilian election, like before it actually happened. And I'm someone who likes to stick to the TOS. So... I don't think there's going to be any electoral fraud. No, not going to be. I don't think there was any electoral fraud in the Turkish election. And we just have to accept the results um, no matter what happens. Um, if Erdogan wins, though, uh, that, might be, uh, that might be a question uh, because he's right-winged and he's been in power for a long time. So that might mean that the vote totals are, are, are completely legitimate but because we live in a because Turkey is needs to be a democracy, it means that people can't vote for the person who they want to vote for. They have to change government every couple of years, uh, just because that that shows democracy. Democracy is rapidly changing government uh, every couple of years. It's not allowing the people to vote on whoever they want to vote for. Now, do I have a prediction? Not really. I've seen it. It seems very, very close. I don't know how accurate polls actually are in Turkey. I mean, polls have enough problems in the like, United States and Britain and developed countries. I guess Turkey's technically developed now, but um, we have enough problem with polls here. I can't even imagine what it's like in a country like Turkey. So I honestly do not have any predictions to make. I think the most likely outcome is that it's going to head to a runoff. Uh, I don't really see either candidate getting more than 50% in the first round, but they might. If Erdogan somehow gets like 70-80% of the vote, um, which goes against all polls and, and narrative on the ground, once again, I think it's completely legitimate. I think that there is no electoral fraud in Turkey and there will be no electoral fraud in Turkey. And I will be banning anybody who dares to question election integrity because we're against conspiracy theories here on this channel.